surveying has been around since before Egyptians were building pyramids, setting order to property, roads and the physical world around us. Did you know that for being one of the world's oldest professions, there are many people who don't know what surveying is? And no, it isn't a study with clipboards in a supermarket. Surveying is the science of measuring and mapping. And while the scope and disciplines of surveying are quite vast, it's basically determining where things are and where boundaries belong. Surveyors measure just about anything on the land, in the sky or on the ocean bed. They even measure polar ice caps. They describe where a certain area is, what it looks like and how much is there. They then put all these facts in titles, leases and other legal documents. Surveyors also play a major role in land development, from the planning and design of land subdivisions through to the final construction of roads, utilities and landscaping. They're essential to the construction industry and their work is important to other professions like engineers, architects, geologists and planners. To understand it a little better, let's have a look at the varied disciplines of surveying one at a time. Cadastral surveyors define legal boundaries between public and private land when land is developed, bought or sold. This can include anything from where your neighbour's fence should be to major urban developments or the exact positioning of a new freeway. Engineering surveyors are involved in building, from bridges and airports to tunnels and highways. They provide boundaries for the design and ensure the size and placement of the structure is accurate. A good example of this is the East Link Tunnel, where surveyors were vital in almost every stage of planning, development and construction to make sure the tunnels actually met in the middle. Geodetic surveyors measure large areas of the Earth's surface to study continental drift, earthquakes and even volcanoes. Marine or hydrographic surveyors study harbours, rivers, shipping channels and map the ocean floor. Mining surveyors work with mining companies on exploration, design and measurement of mines as well as tunnels and surface works. Surveyors working in remote sensing capture information from satellites and airborne imaging to monitor global change. Geographic Information System or GIS specialists then use the change in global data to create electronic mapping systems like Google Earth and in-car GPS navigation devices. Surveying is even used in archaeology. How else do they find where to dig if we don't locate and map out the site first? Frank Lay from Melbourne University located artefacts belonging to Burke and Wills almost 150 years after they were abandoned in the bush. He did this by recalculating Wills' own coordinates and survey results. An exciting aspect of surveying is working in the varied environments. Some days they're in the office and others are in the field, which is pretty cool when the good weather kicks in. How much time you spend in the office or outside really depends on the field you choose and the projects you are working on. From suits to boots, I really like the mix because the work is interesting and varied and I don't get bored. There are not many professional jobs out there that get you out and about like surveying does. Surveyors can work for themselves, in private firms or in government departments that rely on surveying to evaluate decisions and projects. This is a typical surveying firm. It's not actually where I work, so let's see how far we can get before somebody stops me. Looks like it's got all the usual things. Nice view, nice people. And if we have a look here, it looks like these guys are discussing a plan of subdivision. Keep going down, I wonder what else we're going to see. Looks like this guy here is doing some computations for a re-establishment. And if we have a look here, it looks like these guys are discussing a feature plan. How you going? Who are you? Uh, the truth is there are lots of firms and government departments that constantly need new surveyors. From big firms to small, there are not enough surveyors to go around, which makes for some pretty tidy job security. As Surveyor General of Victoria, I'm proud of the role of surveyors and spatial professionals in the development of our great nation. We are experts in our field. Measurement is just one aspect of that role. Understanding and advising 
on land administration and land ownership is a more important component. As a surveyor, we get the opportunity to embrace technology, to find creative and innovative solutions and to work with other professionals. It is a rewarding career for anybody who likes a challenge and finding ways to solve them. The spatial industry is constantly evolving. Today's clients are now realising the potential and flair that female surveyors can bring to their projects. This provides opportunities in a wide range of roles which are no longer limited to males or females. Being a licensed surveyor has afforded me the opportunity to run my own business. This gives me the control to have a good balance between work and lifestyle commitments whilst doing something I find very interesting as well as challenging at times. I particularly love rural surveying and working in regional Victoria is fantastic. Surveying really does offer a life without limits with thousands of different work opportunities here at home and around the globe. Take Nick Brown for instance. He trips off to Antarctica to measure polar caps and continental drift in one of the most spectacular landscapes you'll ever encounter. The work I do for Geoscience Australia is aimed at improving and maintaining Australia's GPS stations to monitor any changes in the shape of Antarctica and measure how fast Australia is moving away from it. If Antarctica seems a bit cold for you, then how about Dubai? Australian surveyors have been involved with many of the key projects, including the construction of the world's first seven-star hotel, the Burj Al Arab. Building on a man-made island in extreme temperatures posed a number of unique challenges, but as you can see, the result is magnificent. Want to see more? Well, Australian surveyors have been integral in the creation of just about everything from the new Hong Kong airport to the Petronas Towers in Malaysia, the MCG redevelopment in Melbourne, eco-studies of the Great Barrier Reef, oil exploration in Bass Strait, military airfields and bases in combat zones, open-cut mining in Western Australia, housing developments, freeways, protection of Aboriginal heritage sites, measurement of volcanoes and water management. Impressive, huh? Well, I reckon we might have sparked your interest with all that, so you may be wondering where to start. To become a surveyor, you need to complete a university degree. These are usually four to five years, depending on where you attend. There are shorter TAFE courses for survey assistants and technicians, but a degree in surveying or geomatics will allow you to gain professional accreditation and unlock a life without limits. I didn't really know what I wanted to get into at first, but I knew that I loved being indoors and outdoors you know, not chained to a desk. And now I really enjoy surveying and its variety. I wanted to do architecture or engineering, but I didn't want to go down this direct path, so surveying seemed like the perfect choice. They can't do anything without us coming in before, during or after the project. The skills that we learn can be used all over the world, which is a much better way to travel than pulling beers as a backpacker. So there you have it. You can find out a lot more detail about universities, projects and what surveying does at the website alifewithoutlimits.com.au When you think about it, what's not to love about surveying? You get a professional career that allows you to work inside and out, the money's great and everyone needs us. Surveying really does offer you a life without limits.